Edmund O'Donovan was a famous war correspondent in the late 19th century. Most famously, he joined the Egyptian forces against the Sudanese Mahdi in a grueling campaign where he would eventually meet his end. O'Donovan was also an important figure in the Fenian movement. O'Donovan was born on the 12th of September, 1844, at Bayview Avenue, Dublin. He was the son of John O'Donovan, a well-known topographer and scholar from Kilkenny. O'Donovan was educated at Trinity College Dublin, where he studied freelance journalism. As a young student, Edmund was attracted to the ranks of the Fenian movement, along with two of his brothers. The brothers were sworn in by the Fenian leader O'Donovan Rossa. Edmund O'Donovan became the head of one of the Fenian circles, composed mostly of Trinity College students. O'Donovan was asked to write a practical handbook on the use of the rifle, and was sent as an organiser around the country. His actions caught the attention of the English authorities, who had him arrested and thrown into Mountjoy Prison. At this time, Sir Thomas Larcombe was the official in Dublin Castle. He also happened to be a dear friend of Edmund's late father, John, who had requested Larcombe to act as a guardian to his sons. Larcombe ordered the release of O'Donovan and urged him to abandon the Fenians. O'Donovan refused and would subsequently be arrested two more times. In 1866, a rising seemed imminent, and among the plans was the capture of the magazine fort and pigeon house in Dublin, where ammunition was stored. The plans were drawn up by Edmund. Eventually, the insurrection was abandoned and Edmund fled the country and settled in Paris. In 1870, the Franco-Prussian War broke out. O'Donovan joined the Foreign Legion of the French Army and was given the rank of Lieutenant. While retreating from the Germans in Orleans, O'Donovan was captured. He was interned as a prisoner of war in Bavaria till peace came. While there, he sent accounts of his experiences during the war to various Dublin and London newspapers. While attempting to relight the Fenian spirit back home in Ireland, the Carlist insurrection broke out in northern Spain in 1873. O'Donovan set out as a correspondent for the Times. He then travelled to southeastern Europe, where Bosnia-Herzegovina rose against Turkey. In 1874, the Daily News selected him to go to Asia Minor as representative during the war between Russia and Turkey. In 1876, O'Donovan, as a representative of the Daily News, journeyed to Merv, a former Iranian city. O'Donovan spent three years travelling from Georgia to Baku to Persia and across the desert to the oasis of Merv in present-day Turkmenistan. After arriving on the shores of the Caspian Sea, O'Donovan travelled into the desert. The journey was very dangerous due to sandstorms, the intense heat and bands of thieves. Upon his arrival, he was suspected of being a Russian invader and was imprisoned by the Turkmen. However, they soon regarded him as a representative of the British government, despite his protests. He was elected to the Triumvirate and functioned as one of the three rulers of Merv. After five months, life became monotonous and wearisome for O'Donovan, who left the Turkmens and the city of Merv. In 1882, the Egyptian government was mistreating the native Arab population of Sudan. Driven to desperation, the native Arab tribes rose up against the ruling powers. An Egyptian army led by Colonel Hicks Pasha, an Anglo-Indian officer, were sent to squash the rebellion. O'Donovan also joined this force as a war correspondent for the Daily News. It would be his last campaign. The Egyptian forces were ill-prepared. They quickly ran out of provisions and there was discord among the officers, all while dealing with the scorching heat. Meanwhile, the native Mahdi were well armed and their knowledge of the terrain allowed them to ambush the Egyptian forces. The Mahdi had captured the city of El Obeid and the Egyptian forces were instructed to take back the city. At this point, the army was worn out by thirst and fatigue. When they reached El Obeid, they were met with a Mahdi ambush. The Egyptian force offered little resistance and they were massacred. From 11,000 men, the force was reduced to just 300. Edmund O'Donovan was killed in the massacre.
In the diary of a slain European officer was found the entry. I spoke to Mr. O'Donovan today and asked him where he thought we would be in eight days hence. In kingdom come was his reply. Many of the newspapers of the day paid tribute to O'Donovan and his outstanding character. During the Sudanese campaign, the sympathy of the Irish people was almost entirely with the Mahdi. United Ireland, a popular newspaper of the time, referred to O'Donovan's death saying, Woe, however, to Ireland that he had not known that one gallant adventurer in the file of the Englishman hated the Saxon with a hatred that not even a Mahdi could surpass. This story was recorded by Richard Hayes in the Old Kilkenny Review in 1972. To discover more stories from Kilkenny's past, follow the link to be taken to the online archives of the Old Kilkenny Review.